You can use and combine PMT with check style to increase your code quality, not just for you, but for your team. In this video, you're gonna learn how. Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel for you who wants to become a better software engineer in Octet, especially in Java and NoSQL world. So if you want to learn more about those practices and want to become a better software engineer and achieving the ultimate stage of this area, subscribe in my channel. Okay, first thing first. Why should I use PMD? Why should I use Textile? And why should you combine those? Textile to check your code quality standard inside your team, inside your organization, and so on. PMD is a static analytic for Java to find potential bugs. Okay? Those combines can help you first to uh, speed up the onboard because it will become super clear to the user or to new engineer what is the best practice. Basically, if, it's not, if this person is not following this good practice, the build is going to break with a super clear message. So it is nice to have that. So uh, decrease the time of code review because everything about code design, code style, and so on, belongs right now to the CI, CD, uh, especially with those tools. Um, keep the quality high. Usually when the product keep old, it's natural that the code become not good, read, hard to read, and so on. This way, you can fight against the software regions. It is also a good step to increase the governance inside the soft architecture or the soft design inside Java project. Because this way, you can increase the quality, decrease uh, issues, decrease technical debt, and so on. So the combination of PMT and textile are super great. It is important to highlight that you usually gonna do that only once in your project. You can find also using Maven project as your parents inside the organization. And doing that, everyone who extends these parents will have these validations of PMD and textile. Okay? It's good to mention that both are super configurable configurables and super easy to increase rules and decrease rules. Uh, the first step naturally is to show the code. So I'm using here the maybe configuration with first the check style as you can see. So uh, presentation mode, let me get in. So I do have several checks here in the process, like the file length, um, in the, in the line, in the file, uh, if you're gonna use tabs or space, variables name, so I can define the rules and minimal rules to check that, the package name and so on. So the check style will help you to define minimal standards inside your code. It is super important to follow that. And on the other hand, yes, you can put some configurations, you can check what makes sense, you can remove. You can also put these check style security rules, sorry, check style rules outside the point XML. Okay? It's super nice that you can define. And on the other hand, what I do have here is my Maven PMD plugin. So by default, it has a couple of categories. I usually put those for as recommendations, so bad practice, code style, security, and performance. But if you wish, you can define your own style 
to to follow. For example, here I can define my file of best practice. As you can see here, it's basically a copy paste, removing what I don't like. I mean, what I don't enjoy by default. For example, by default, you cannot use var. So I remove this kind of configuration and define my own bad practice. Another good point here is that if I do something wrong, it should break the build. So fail on violation of anything like this. So print fail errors as well. So I know what's going on and I can check. So let's create, for example, my class uh, animal and this class animal has a void it where I can define the food so if meat and I will break here and I won't put brackets here Okay, and then I will define my full type and put in season out and things like this. With that configuration that I shared the link with you with the GitHub repository, I will go to my console. So let exit of the presentation mode. And then I will compile this. MVN, clean install. So I will compile, I will run the build, and let's see what's going on. It's run the PMD and the check style. And as you can see here, I broke the rules. So let's check. So I did seven violations. So Every class should have at least one constructor. So food is not final. Uh, this statement should have braces. I should not use system out. I should use in log instead. And the variable as final and explicit type. So I should not use var. I should use uh, the final titles, so this explicit type. And as I mentioned to you, you can define what you're gonna follow or not. So in this example here, I will change to PMD. So PMD to best practice and PMD to code style. And let's run again, this time with less uh, points to analyze. So it's still breaking, but as you can see, instead of seven, I do have three. So let's check those three. So this statement does not have braces and I using system out. So those are not good, right? So what I'm gonna do here, I will put brackets to fix that. As you can see, it's not complaining anymore about the food. So I can keep it or using some, some locks properly. I'll remove that and when I run again, it's gonna run finally with what? One mistake, let's see. System out, oh, okay, system out here. So what can I do? I can create a logger, so and then using log here and let's see what's going on and that is it so as you can see it's much simple to identify what's right what's wrong inside your organization for example to define the team the team the, the standards and to avoid bugs so as you can see there are more categories i just put those here uh, best practice, code style, security performance, but for example, there are 
uh, for documentations, for um, co-design and so on. So it is crucial to you go understand, take those as uh, the four and then define what makes sense and what does not make sense for you, you and your team. That's all for today. And please let me know what you think about this code style. Uh, are you using it right now? It is saving your time. So that is it for today. Bye.